when we maintain or manage large stocks we have to keep certain things in mind as what's the shelf life of the product in how many days the products are getting expired certain products got expired or not what's the total quantity and total amount of the expired products and so on in today's video we will see how we can create a product expiry sheet through which we can overcome all the issues hi my name is vijay and you are watching office mom let's start the video without any details this is an inventory sheet where i have got all the details of the items like item code item name unit of measurement description either the product is dry chilled or frozen total stock total value and so on over here i have got manufacture date as well as expiry date the shelf life will be calculated in months as well as days here i have got a column of days pending in expiry this will be calculated automatically on daily basis when we come to the right hand side over here we have got status when the product will be expired it will be highlighted in red as well as the word expired will be visible product status and color if the shelf life will be more than 30 days it will be highlighted in green between 4 to 30 days it will be highlighted in yellow between 1 to 3 days it will be highlighted in light red color and if the product gets expired it will be highlighted in dark red color over here the quantity and amount of expired product will be calculated automatically when we come to right hand side in case you want to check the expired product category wise it can be done from here when i'll click on expired only the expired products are visible if i want to check the dry expired items i'll have to click over here and only the dry items which got expired are visible let's start creating a new sheet now we will start from b2 serial number item code items uom means unit of measurement description i'll press alt and will hit enter now i'll type dry chilled frozen we'll take all the things in center and in mid total stock rate total value manufacture date expiry date shelf life in months shelf life in days days pending in expiry status means the product got expired or not i'll click over here and we'll manage the column size we'll select this and we'll put a color over here we'll change the font color we'll make it bold we'll select the whole sheet and we'll change the font style we'll select this and we'll give borders we'll manage the column size we'll take this closer serial number we will take it till 50 few things we will take from our example file like item code items unit of measurement and description we will paste over here paste special values we will take this in center we will create borders for this total value the formula will be plus or equal to total stock into rate and we will hit enter we will take this in center we will right click the mouse format cells number we will take this up we'll go to number use thousand separators now we will go to custom over here we will put double inverted comma rupees rs dot double inverted comma close and we will do okay now we will drag this down manufacture date and expiry date we will take from our example file i'll paste it over here we we'll take this in center we'll right click the mouse format cells date and we'll select a desired date format okay shelf life in months the formula will be plus or equal to expiry date minus manufacture date and we will hit enter we'll take this in center we'll change the date from here means manufacture date we have to calculate this in months so we will have to divide this from 30 we'll take this in bracket divided by 30 so 13 months are pending we will drag this down now let's remove expiry date so we are getting some random figures to remove this we will have to insert the criteria of if if bracket open 
expiry date is equal to blank comma we want blank over here so i'll insert double inverted comma twice comma will come to the end and will hit enter now i'll drag this down we'll drag our formula till end shelf life in days the formula will be plus or equal to expiry date minus manufacture date and we will hit enter here also we will insert the criteria of if if bracket open expiry date is equal to blank comma we want blank to feature over here comma we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this down we'll go up days pending in expiry we will have to make this automated so that it gets calculated on daily basis so the formula will be plus or equal to expiry date minus today bracket open bracket close and we will hit enter we'll click on the cell we'll right click the mouse format cells we'll take this up we'll select number and we'll do okay we'll remove the decimal places here also we will insert the criteria of if if bracket open shelf life in days is equal to blank comma we want blank over here to feature so i'll insert double inverted comma again comma we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now i'll drag this down we'll leave this selected we'll go to conditional formatting highlight cell rule greater than 30 if greater than 30 it should be green okay we will do one thing we will go to our example file and we'll copy the conditions from here control c or command c will come to our sheet and we'll paste it over here we'll take this closer we'll go to view show and we'll remove the grid lines now we will select this more than 30 it should be green we already highlighted this between 4 to 30 days it should be yellow so we will have to go to home conditional formatting highlight cell rules between between 4 and 30 it should be light yellow and we will do okay third condition is between 1 to 3 days it should be light red we'll go to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rules between 1 and 3 and we'll do okay our fourth condition is zero or less than zero means if the product gets expired it should be red so we will do one thing we will select our first row we'll go to conditional formatting new rule from here we will select classic and from the drop down we will select use a formula to determine which cells to format and our formula will be plus or equal to days pending in expiry we will remove the dollar from the center if the days pending in expiry is less than or equal to zero we want red color over here so i'll click on the drop down custom format fill from here i'll select red color font will make it bold and color will be black we'll do okay okay i'll change one date over here i'll change the month and we'll do it july so the product got expired and the whole row got highlighted now we will select this Control c or command c we'll select the whole sheet we'll right click the mouse paste special we will take this up and we'll paste the formats we'll do okay let's come down so one product over here in fruits and vegetable category got expired only reason it got highlighted in red status the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open days pending in expiry is less than or equal to zero comma double inverted comma expired double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter we will drag this down if the products are within shelf life it's showing false so we will do one thing we will click on our first cell 
will click just after expired comma double inverted comma twice and we will hit enter now we will drag this down and the products which are not expired is showing blank over there let's come to right hand side now we will do some calculations for the products which are getting expired what will be the quantity and what will be the amount so description quantity amount we'll select this we'll take this in center and we'll put a color over here we'll change the font color dry means dry products chilled frozen fruits and vegetables we'll select this and we'll create borders over here quantity and amount of expired products will feature so formula will be plus or equal to some ifs we are going to insert the criteria of some ifs over here some ifs bracket open some range we will come to the left hand side we want quantity over here so first of all we will select total stock we'll press function f4 and we'll lock the cells comma criteria range we will go to the left hand side criteria range is our description means dry chilled frozen or fruits and vegetables we will select this we will press function f4 and the cells will be locked comma now we have to provide criteria so we will select this means dry comma criteria range 2 so we will select status we will press function f4 comma now we have to provide criteria so our criteria is expired double inverted comma expired double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter we will select this and we'll take this in center so 10 dry products got expired we got the figure over here we will drag this down in fruits and vegetables also few items got expired so we are able to see figure of 49 amount the formula will be plus or equal to some ifs bracket open some range this time we have to provide amount we will come to the left hand side we will select total value we'll press function f4 and the cells will be locked comma criteria we'll come to the left hand side and we'll select description we'll press function f4 comma criteria criteria is description so we will select this comma criteria range 2 criteria range 2 is status we will press function f4 and the cells will be logged comma double inverted comma expired because we want total amount of expired products expired double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter now we will drag this down we we'll leave it selected we will right click the mouse format cells we will take this up number use thousand separators custom we will click in the very beginning double inverted comma rupees dot double inverted comma close and we will do okay we will take this in left side so we are able to see total amount of expired products i'll click over here we'll change the color we'll put borders and we'll put the function of sum plus or equal to sum we'll select this we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll take this in left side we'll select this we'll merge the cells this is total amount we'll change the font color we'll make it bold we'll put border over here now one major thing is pending we'll click anywhere inside our data we'll press control a or command a now we will press control t a small box will pop up my table has headers and we will do okay from the top we will select table style and we'll remove the filter button so our data got converted in a table now we will go to insert slicer we'll come down we'll select status we'll go up and we'll select the description and we'll do okay we'll come to the right hand side 
and we'll place our slicers over here. We'll make this small. We'll put it over here. We'll click on the second slicer. We'll go to the slicer tab and we'll change the color of slicer from here. We will change color of this slicer also. We'll click over here. We'll make two columns or three columns. We'll make this smaller. We'll come to the right hand side and we'll place it over here. We'll make this little bit more smaller and we'll make this bigger. Now, if we want to check our expired products, we will have to click over here on expired and only the expired products will be visible. In case we want to check the expired products category wise, we will have to click over here and the category wise expired products will be visible. In case we want to check multiple category, we will have to select all the categories what we want to see and all those specific categories will be visible. So our format is ready now. I'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.